friends, I'm Akash. In this video, we will take a look at an easy subtraction trick to instantly figure out how to subtract two digit numbers and above from other numbers in as little as just five seconds. Just that fast. It's a really neat trick and I'm about to show it to you right now. So let's take a look. For this video, we're going to start off with the example 65 minus 29. It's a very modest start to this, honestly. So let's take a look at how this trick works. So what we're going to do here is we're going to focus on the last number here, 29. And what we're going to do is we will find the closest, the nearest multiple of 10 to 29. So in this case, it is 30. So what we do now is find the difference between 30 and 29. The answer is one. And so what we do is we not only add one to 29, but we add one to 65 as well, the other number in our equation. So now we have 65 plus one, which is 66, and 29 plus one, which is 30. So 66 minus 30 is 36, as you may know. And so this is the trick because 65 minus 29 and 66 minus 30 are the exact same. The answer is equal in both of them because all we're doing is just adding one to both of the numbers. So think of it as like a sort of bar graph. If you add one, the difference between these two is still the same. Nothing, no difference has changed because they have both increased by the same amount. So that is the principle behind this trick. And we'll go through a couple more cases to get a feel for it. Let's take the example of 86 minus 17. Now, again, as we can see, we're going to focus on the number 17 and we're going to find the nearest multiple of 10. You should probably know what I mean by this. It's just the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on and so forth. So if we take a look at 17, the nearest multiple of 10 is 20 and 17 and 20, the difference is just three. So we have 17 plus three on this side, which is 20. Now we add three to the other number, 86. So 86 plus three, which is 89. And now we have 89 minus 20, which is equal to 69. So yet again here, if you subtract 86 minus 17, with 89 minus 20, the answers of both of these equations is the exact same. They are both 69. And the reason why is because all we're doing is adding three to both of them. We are increasing them by the same amount. So the difference is the same, no matter how many or how low we go, as long as we're just adding or subtracting the same amount to both of the numbers, the difference will remain the same. Let's take a look at a couple more examples. Let's take the example of 91 minus 46. So again, we'll take 46 here and find the nearest multiple of 10. So in this case, the nearest multiple of 10 to 46 is 50. And so that's what we'll have here. And 50 minus 46 is four. So four is the difference here. And so we're just going to add the difference here four to 91. And 91 plus four is of course 95. So now what we have is 95 minus 50. And of course the answer of 95 minus 50 is 45 and that is the answer. Let's say 134 minus 65. 
So again, 65, the nearest multiple of 10 is 70. The difference between 70 and 65 is nothing but five. So 65 plus five. And of course, we're gonna do the same thing to 134, add five to that. And so you have 139 there. So now you have 139 minus 70. And the answer to this is 69. So really easy. Let's take a look at one final example. Let's take a look at 152 minus 38. So once again, the nearest multiple of 10 to 38 is just 40, and the difference between 40 and 38 is two, once again. So this means that we'll have 38 plus two, and so we'll add two to 152, so that means 152 plus two is 154. So now we have 154 minus 40. The answer is 114. So this is a wonderful trick. Now you've mastered this easy subtraction trick. So let's take a look at some homework. Try to figure out 114 minus 46 85 minus 39, 52 minus 28, and 165 minus 77. Trying to figure out each of these using this easy subtraction trick. You can do it in your head in just five seconds flat. It is really easy. So make sure to comment down your answers in the comment section below. And for your convenience, the correct answers to all of these questions will be in the description below. So thanks so much for watching this video about this easy subtraction trick. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you. Akash.